Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us start the fifth unit of software quality testing, guys. Okay, so the first topic in this unit is testing client or server systems. So basically, whenever some kind of a project consists of a client and servers, so basically the client will be accessing the server for some particular data, and the server will respond with that data. So this architecture or this model is called as a client-server method, guys. Okay? Yes. So basically, here one will have the answers for the required question. So in that way, it might be a web-based system or any kind of system. Okay? Yes. So in this system, the testing should be done really properly, guys, because if assume in that way. you are trying to log in into a login page okay and you want to log in into the website so you entered your email id and password okay and instead of opening the website the website showed the whole page of passwords so basically it showed the databases database in which the username and password of other uh, other members of the website are there so these kind of issues should not be there right so you should not leak the information so there are various things which, which should be considered when you are testing a client server system right yes so the success of client server program depends heavily on both the readiness of an organization to use the technologies efficiently and its ability to provide client the information and capabilities that meet their needs so basically what are what is the requirement that the client want only those should be given so if he asks for some other things so they should be avoided so he is not having access permissions like that error should come instead of the data should not be shown to him right yes so the organization should maintain those rules and everything so if an organization is not ready to move to client server technology it is a far better to work on changing the organization to a ready state that an install installation of client server technology so basically any company when they are building a project most of those projects comes under this technologies only guys okay yes okay so you can just go through the overview guys okay yes so the main concerns which everyone will be taking care is the concern about the client server system resides in the area of control the testers need to determine the adequate controls are in place to ensure the accu accurate complete timeliness and security so basically what is the main requirement here guys so you want to secure the data properly okay similarly you want to complete the tasks in an easy way and you in a short time and you want to make this whole process secure right yes so here we are having five different concerns guys or five different thoughts which we want to resolve the first is nothing but organization read readiness okay so the culture is adequately prepared to process data using client server technology readiness must be available in the area of management of client installation and servers support so basically whenever you are sending any data reading the data is really important guys and the data retrieval should be done in a proper way in the organization okay yes so it might be any architecture but readiness is really important and the second uh, uh, concern is a client installation okay so basically assume that you built a website guys so in that situation the the client does not require any installations and any hardware requirements right so if he has a proper browser installed in his system he can use it so in that way so client installation the concern is that appropriate hardware and software will be in place to uh, to enable the process that the need that is needed by the client so basically when you are building a software so it should be uh, Accord, accord accommodable for everyone right so basically on any hardware with some minimum requirements it should run so that will be your goal so basically client installation is also an important concern similarly security so any method it might be security of data and security is really important guys so there is a need for protection of both hardware including the resident software and data so data also that processed using hardware and software so security must be addressed the threats for employee employees outsiders and act of acts of nature so basically whenever you are taking some input from the user so it might be his aadhar number or it might be his pan number his it might be his social security number or it might be any information which you are collecting you should always store in a secured way and it is always a better option to encrypt it guys okay yes so that comes under security similarly client data okay so controls must be in place to ensure that everything is not lost okay incorrectly processed and anything so basically whatever client data you are collecting and you are storing everything should be stored securely and properly guys so there should not be no loss of anything and you should not ask again and again so basically assume that you are asked for your aadhar number once 
okay and due to some technical issues the company is asking you to submit again so it is asking every one month two months so it is indirectly losing its data right so basically the lost data might be and might end up at someone's hand so which is a really a dangerous thing right yes so that is the reason why the data client data is really important and it should be secured okay similarly client or server standards so there could there should be some standards guys so there should be some rules and regulations policies so which should be followed by both the client and the server Okay, standards must exist exist to ensure that all client server stations operate with the same rules. Okay, yes. So you can just uh, draw a small diagram in this way, guys. So these are some client machines. Uh, this is our application server, and this application server will be connected to backend. Okay, and it will get the data. So assume that you want to open some web page or anything, it will be sending it to the application server. If it is not available in the application server, it will send to backend. It will respond. It will show on your screen. So in that way, it will work, guys. The client server architecture. Okay, yes. Okay, so for all these testing methodologies, we are having a concept called as a workbench, guys. So basically, workbench in simple words, you can say the flow of processes of testing is. So how the flow will move on? So basically, the workbench for this concept that is nothing but testing a client server looks in this way. So if you observe, this is nothing but the exact steps which I discussed, right? So initially, the client server will be there. So then you will be performing three tasks here. Okay, so the first is accessibility readiness. So basically, whether the data is readable. easily or not whether the authorized client can get the data or not so that thing will be checked similarly accessing key components so basically assume that you paid for a service and you need to get that service right yes so that kind of accessing so basically assume that it might be a textbook it might be a book if it is a book website you if you bought a book in a kindle version or an online readable version so in your account it should be there you can access it you can open it and you can read it right so that kind of component should be available similarly testing system should be done so if everything of this is done properly once you go through the checking phase that is nothing but check this is do phase and this is check phase guys okay so once you are done with all these things you will move on to check phase so if everything is perfect you will generate the report so if it anything is not perfect you will be doing redoing it okay you will be reworking on it okay yes so you will be coming back again here and you will be continuing in this process until it's done okay yes so this is the workbench guys okay yes so that's what the, just a small concept is written here you can just go through it guys okay yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea on this concept right yes so in the next lecture we will be discussing about testing of web based systems guys so i am skipping one topic in between guys that is nothing but testing the adequate system document so i did not find any kind of proper notes for that particular topic so if i found anything i'll be sharing it in the group so don't worry guys so let us continue with the testing web based systems in the next lecture okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching